we will talk about yellow fever yellow fever is viral infection which is transmitted by mosquito bite and yellow fever have unique symptom complex fever plus yellow skin and yellow eyes so you may think that many diseases including hepatitis and liver failure and in newborns we also have jaundice or yellow skin and yellow eyes but it's it's different because here person was healthy and after mosquito bite he gets fever he gets yellow skin and this symptom complex is unique for yellow fever that's why it is called yellow fever and now let's say how it starts initial symptoms are chills headache joint ache and other flu-like symptoms so initially you can't differentiate it from other viral infections because chills headache and joint ache is characteristic for flu also also so it lasts around four days and fortunately 85 percent of people who get this disease will recover fully and they will never know that they had yellow fever if they don't make uh, diagnostic test tests of course because these symptoms is characteristic for other viral infections also and it's impossible to differentiate but in 50 percent of patients have complication and it is called toxic pace and toxic pain occurs and it is manifested by many severe symptoms like bleeding including internal and external bleeding bleed from nose for example bleeding from eyes bleeding from from gums blood in stool bleeding during vomiting and internal bleeding even in the brain is possible and internal organs are damaged at this case especially liver and kidneys and multi-organ failure and unfortunately 50 percent of such patient will die so we say that 15 percent of who has yellow fever will develop toxic pace and 50 percent half out of this 15 percent will die because we have no cure but fortunately we have preventive measures and we should say that vaccination is perfect prevention measure here because vaccination is highly effective and immunity from vaccination is lifelong usually or very long term so vaccination is best method of prevention because we have no cure in this case and let's say why this yellow skin develops generally in our spleen um, erythrocytes or red blood cells are degraded to bilirubin so we have erythrocytes and we get bilirubin and this bilirubin is yellow yellow color and in normal circumstances in normal um, normal metabolism liver should manage and excrete this yellow bilirubin from our body via bile but when there is liver insufficiency and liver dysfunction liver can't excrete this bilirubin from our body that's why it um, bilirubin level in our blood will rise and eventually it will deposit on our skin or in the eyes and it manifests as a jaundice or yellow colored skin and this disease is common in sub-saharan africa it's responsible on 30,000 annual deaths it's high number actually and it's also some cases are reported in south america also and we make diagnosis via virus specific antibodies it's much cheaper than pcr test pcr also available but uh, this antibodies test is gold standard of diagnosis and we have no treatment that's why we have only supportive care such as rehydration uh, such as surgery if need to uh, stop bleeding internal bleeding for example if it's possible but in many cases it's not possible and 
um, for fever and for pain acetaminophen is uh, used and you should avoid aspirin and ibuprofen and other non-steroidals because they increase risk of bleeding that's why non-steroidals should be avoided that's all i wanted to say about yellow fever thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my video please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now